Hello, yes, Joe Owens calls out Tommy Robinson, part two, that's right, part two. Well, he never knocked, you see, he hasn't knocked after me doing part one. He says he uh, confronts those that say nasty things about him. I've mentioned that in the previous video, the uh, Garden Easter journalist and some other plant pot on Twitter. He knocked on their doors and confronted them. Well, I'm calling you a lot worse things than what they did. I'm calling you an MI5 police informer. You're a rat's arse. Your laughs and your jokes and your silly nonsense in your car with daft Kev and all to get everyone to laugh, which uh, you're laughing in the latest video. I've left the link below where you're knocking on these councillors' homes and be conveniently none of them are in. But anyway, uh, I've asked you to come and knock here. You can come in, sit on the couch, me mum will put the kettle on, drum, tea and biscuits and whatever. And uh, we can film away and have a proper sensible adult debate as to why you're a snitch. You're not the real thing. You see, your aim, like I keep mentioning in these videos, is to drag all the angry heads onto the streets, march up and down, or have book signing meetings where a thousand angry heads are going to turn up and we all know what's going to happen. There's going to be violence. Your aim is to drag all the angry heads onto the streets, right? which in turn scares away the bigger public, the ones we need, the ones you don't reach and will never reach, because you're scaring them away with your confrontational approach to things. You see, the public indeed are worried and concerned about the spread of Islamic extremism and the Islamification of Britain, but they want to talk about it in a sensible way so it can be dealt with in a sensible adult political way they don't want this big confrontation and that's what you're doing whether or not you're portrayed as the poor victim all the time you're getting attacked that's part of the act it's part of the scam to get sympathy because once people sympathize with you they like you once they like you they trust you and that's what this is all about you're bogus laughing in the latest video or telling your jokes and laughing at Jaff Kev in the car it's all part of the scam it's all part of the farce it's all choreographed before no doubt but anyway the link below tommy robinson knocking at these council labor councillors homes because they've signed a petition um to stop him uh, having his book launch in manchester november 3rd yet he still hasn't knocked at joe owens as he's he, he's prepared that's the word he's prepared to knock at other people that say or do things about me. he's not going to come here well i'll tell you what you're in manchester surely in under a month the third of november i'll drive to manchester from liverpool 40 minutes whatever and we can meet up somewhere before you have your book launch and we can have a little uh, debate a little talk and you know if i'm wrong they'll shake your hand right and i'll upload the video so you know i've got it wrong about that guy but i haven't got it wrong you see all you're doing like i keep saying is you're just dragging the angry heads onto the street that's all you're doing. And all they'll do is march up and down scaring people. And you're doing it deliberate. Of course you are. You're doing it at the behest of your controllers in MI5 and whoever else is involved in this, whether it's Hope Not Hate, Nick Lowe's, Jerry Gable, Sailor Magazine. That's what you're doing. A lot of these people that are not familiar with how the, uh, the machinations of the secret state and its dirty dealings they won't understand what's going on, but I do. I know what you're doing. You're offering no political solution. What solution? Let's all read Muhammad's Quran, why Muslims kill for Islam, and that's it. It's solved. You only can solve this politically. You're stopping people from doing that. In fact, you're scaring people away with your confrontational approach to this. Also, where's the quilt gone? Kalen Robertson, he was at your side, and since I called him a quilt, he's vanished. In fact, he's had this probably uh, contrived fallout with Rebel Media, because I think him at your side wasn't doing your uh, tough man image any good, was he? Yeah, the quilt's vanished now, hasn't he? Well, from your side, anyway. And I reckon that's all deliberate and contrived. But Joe Owens calls out Tommy Robinson again. We can meet up in Manchester. You can wipe the floor with me. You can show out silly and paranoid and delusional i am by calling you a snitch a rat's arse you can wipe the floor with me 
You've got all your media behind you. You should have no problems. So the ball's in your court, Tommy Robinson. Okay, thank you.